bored with your clothes? Weather a bit iffy? Bit cold, bit warm, bit wet, bit dry, bit windy? And wondering what on earth to wear? Well, join the club. In this video, I'm going to talk you through my spring wardrobe prep and how I went from boring to beautiful in, well, a few easy steps. So let's start at the very beginning. So about a month ago, I looked through my wardrobe and thought, okay, I need to make a spring capsule wardrobe video. Oh, and by the way, if you need a hand in thinking about the sort of pieces you need for a capsule wardrobe, I have a fact sheet and the link for that will be in the description box below. So I fished out my clothes and I thought, yes, I can make a video. And then I started to try them on. I thought, what on earth have I got here? My spring capsule wardrobe seemed to consist of mostly black with a bit of white. And that was it. And I thought, I cannot make a video with these type of clothes. It's going to be so boring. And I know that my aesthetic is pretty neutral anyway. And I have had my colours done. I'll link that video down below for you, by the way, where I had my colours done. And the stylist said to me that I was a winter deep, which was helpful up to a point. But finding items in those colours is particularly difficult, I think, because there are so many variations in colours, which could be helpful, but actually it all depends on what's in the shops, doesn't it, ultimately? And also, before I made this video, I did quite a lot of research on other content creators on YouTube. And there's one video in particular, which I will link down below for you, which I found super helpful. And that's by Melissa Morell. And her video was extremely helpful on the idea of not bringing too many colours into your wardrobe, because it then means that you've got a basic set of colours that go with everything. So one item can easily go with another. And another really useful video from a channel I only just found the other day, and the channel's called Style and Fashion, and the woman who fronts it is called Jess. And I'll link that video down below for you as well. And she talks a lot about texture. So rather than having wool on wool or cotton on cotton, mixing the textures together to get an interesting outfit, even if you're just wearing neutral colours. But, but this is all very well. A spring capsule wardrobe or a spring wardrobe is so weather dependent. Now I live in the UK, I live in London, so I am in the south, which means I tend to have slightly warmer weather than those who live in the north of the UK, but it's still pretty cold. And I was looking at the temperatures today and for the next week or two, and they're only just into double figures, that's centigrade. So we're not talking real spring weather yet. And we might have to wait till May is out, as my granny used to say. She used to say, ne'er cast a clout until May is out, which I understood to mean the end of May. We may have to wait till the end of May before we can get to t-shirt weather. So after considering all this, I went on a hunt. Now, the first thing I did is I wanted to go to Massimo Dutti, because I'd never been to that store before. And I'd spotted a trench coat there and I thought it would be good to go and try it on. So I did do that and, I'll, and you'll see in the insert what that looks like. And I have to say, it was the nicest trench coat I'd tried to date. And the colour was good as well, but it was £200. And I was still unsure about whether a trench was really going to be useful for my personal lifestyle. But I also tried on some other items of theirs and honestly... I don't know who they're made for, but they must be made for very tall women because I looked swamped in them. And you'll see in the insert, they really didn't suit me at all. They look beautiful on the hangers, but not on me. So I think Massimo Dutti probably isn't a brand that I will gravitate towards in the future. But they did have some nice spring outfits for women who are tall. And by the way, I'm five foot four, or I might be five foot three and a half now, actually. I'm not sure if I've shrunk a little bit. So after the Massimo Dutti disappointment, I came back and I went back to what I knew to coin a lyric by Amy Winehouse. And I have to say that H&M's website in the UK is so helpful because it has all their brands in one place. So at the moment, I'm wearing an H&M sweater, which I talked about in my favourites video, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen. But they also have their other brands like Arquette and And Other Stories and Weekday. And those are brands that I really do love. And they do tend to specialise in neutral colours, although of course they have other colours as well. And apart from getting this jumper, I actually got this in two colours. So I have this one. I also have this striped one. Now these jumpers are so comfortable. They're incredibly soft. Now, just to let you know, I bought a size medium because I wanted the roominess around my waist. Because although I'm not tall and I'm small boned, I do carry my weight around my tum particularly. And so I don't like anything tight. 
I want to be comfortable. I want to feel that my clothes are not restricting me in any way. So although this is a medium, I think it's fine because it doesn't look too big on the shoulders. And it is a beautiful cotton and incredibly reasonably priced. I think this was about £35. All the details and all the links, of course, for everything that I talk about today will be in the description box below. And the other great thing about these, of course, is they are neutral colours, so they will go with your jeans, they will go with your black trousers, they will go with your white trousers and your cream trousers, because these are really cream, I think. And actually, the other thing I've realised is how much cream seems to suit me close to my face. I think it's in my colour palette, but it wasn't something I gravitated towards, and I think it's getting the right shade of cream as well is quite important for me, because otherwise it can make me look a little bit sallow. Having said that, let me move on to another couple of jumpers I bought from H&M. Now this one is what you would call greige, I think. And I have worn this in a video and I do think it looks lovely. I don't know whether it looks quite as great on camera as it does in real life to me, but I absolutely love it. Now grey is in my colour palette and I think this is a great colour for spring summer because it's light or it's lighter. It's not a charcoal grey, but they do call it greige on the website. And this is cashmere. And because the weather's still so chilly, this is a great piece to keep you warm. And also you've got plenty of room because it's nice and roomy. You've got plenty of room to wear layers underneath to keep you warm. Because I've got to be warm and comfortable. I can't bear being cold. I absolutely hate it. So I need to be comfortable at all times. And at the moment, because it's so chilly, I am finding that I need to wear a base layer underneath a long sleeved base layer. Now this is from H&M's premium range and it is a beautiful cashmere, it's incredibly soft and it does come in other colours. Now, you will be interested to know I decided to bite the bullet and I bought a mint green one. Do you know what? This is absolutely beautiful. I hummed and hard and thought, is mint green really my colour? I think again it was in my colour palette but it's not a colour I I've ever bought, I don't think, or certainly not in living memory, but honestly, I think it's absolutely beautiful. It makes me so happy when I put it on. It only arrived a couple of days ago and I wore it to work yesterday and I am absolutely in love with it. It's exactly the same as the beige one. It's, it's quite pricey, of course. I think it was just over £100, but it is beautiful and I know I'm going to get lots of wear out of it. And to be honest, you can wear this in the summer, in the evening. You could wear it over white trousers. You can wear it over linen trousers, and I'm going to come to linen trousers in a moment. And even with a dress, I think you could certainly pop it over your shoulders. It's a beautiful, beautiful jumper. Now, interestingly, because this is oversized, I'm actually in a size small. And it is really roomy and comfortable, so I didn't need to size up for this. But I'm so delighted that I've got two beautiful cashmere jumpers that aren't my winter blacks or my winter brown. Those are colours for the autumn winter. I want to go lighter, I want to go beige, I want to go mint green. And in fact, this is the last of my neutral colour jumpers. Now this is an H&M jumper, so much less expensive than the cashmere. And it's made of, I think it's poly, mostly polyester, but it is very, very soft and comfortable. Now I can't remember what size I got this in, but I'll link that down below for you. I had to cut the label out because it was really itching me. It was right at the back there. But again, so soft and comfortable, really easy to wear. Yes, it probably won't wear quite as well as cashmere because these, these polyester jumpers do tend to bobble a bit after a while, but so far it's been okay. Okay, I've only had it a month, but I'm not gonna be wearing it every single day. And actually I have bought a navy blue one, which if it arrives before the, I edit this video, I'll pop up a picture of me wearing it. And again, I'm gonna get lots of wear out of this. I can wear a base layer underneath if I need to, or I can just wear it on its own. And it is super comfortable and it will go with everything. Now, before we finish with tops, I'm just going to tell you about a couple of shirts that I got from H&M, which didn't work at all, unfortunately. I was looking for a linen shirt because I've only got one linen shirt, which is black, which is fine, but I don't really want to wear too much black in the spring, summer, if I can help it. And I saw this beautiful pink linen shirt on H&M's website, and it was very reasonably priced. Got it home, and as you can see, it was absolutely huge. For some reason or other, the sleeves were particularly sort of ginormous. So I had to send that back. Then I ordered a blue and white patterned one in a size small, because I thought, well, that'll be better. But still the sleeves were massive, even though unfortunately it was a little bit tight around the middle. So I've now ordered a completely different styled one. 
it's a, in a kind of russet colour. I'll put a picture up of it so you can see. Because I tried a red linen shirt in Arquette last weekend. So I thought I'd try this sort of russety one, which was about £17 for some weird reason. Maybe it's a colour nobody wants, maybe. Maybe I'll have made a big boo-boo, but I can always send it back if it doesn't suit. So that's arriving today as well, so we'll see what that's like. But talking of linen, I have been on the hunt for a pair of linen trousers that does not have a tie at the waist, because a lot of linen trousers follow the same sort of pattern or design as as jogging trousers and they always seem to like to have the little tie waist and I hate that. Anyway, so I've been hunting a pair of linen trousers down that don't have a tie waist and I was watching another content creator new to me based in New York called Mary something. I'll link her channel down below for you. She's got a small channel but her aesthetic is really rather nice and she was talking about a brand called Quince. Now I've never heard of Quince but she showcased a couple of pairs of linen trousers which look right up my alley with no tie at the waist. Now the problem for me is that quints don't ship to the UK. However, I had just watched another video and isn't YouTube a mine of useful information by the Anna Edit, so Anna Newton, who I've been watching for years, who's a young content creator, but she's been on YouTube for donkey's years. And she was talking about having used a service called Shippen. So S-H-I, I think it's double P-N. I'll link that down below for you as well. And the idea is that someone in the States who's part of this Shippen community will buy the product for you and then ship it to you. It worked seamlessly, I cannot tell you. And it was so quick and easy. So now I'm the proud owner of a couple of pairs of linen trousers from Quince. Oh, and they were incredibly reasonably priced. I think they were about $35 each. And here they are. Oh, and the other really important thing for me with linen trousers is I didn't want them too tailored. I wanted elasticated waists. So here's the black pair. Now they are cropped, which I'm fine with because in the, sun, in the spring summer, I'm okay with that. And actually the other day I wore my other linen trousers with some leggings underneath to keep me warm and it worked a treat. And this is the white pair. Now the only snag with the white pair is they've got these pockets which you can see through the trousers. Now I'm wondering whether I might take them to my tailor and see if he can just cut them so that they don't hang down like pockets tend to do on white, on white trousers. I'll talk to him about it and see if he can do something with it. I got them in a size medium because my tum is quite big, my waist is about 30 inches and they are really comfortable and I'm so delighted that I got two reasonably priced pairs of trousers from the States, from a brand based in the States who don't ship to the UK, but I was able to get hold of them. So I'm making good progress with my spring capsule wardrobe, I've got lots of new tops to wear, I've got a couple of bottoms. So those are all the good purchases I made. Now some of the things I had to send back were this mammoth white trench that I got from H&M. It was just absolutely huge. The colour was good but honestly I don't really know what size of woman that was made for but certainly not for me. And the other really disappointing thing was I ordered some white twill trousers which again didn't really suit me at all although they did fit me. The fabric was absolutely lovely, but I'm just really struggling with wide leg trousers. And actually that reminds me of another content creators video that I really enjoyed, which was one by Lydia Tomlinson. Now what she was suggesting very sensibly was instead of embracing or trying the actual trend is to try and make it work for you. So I've got these black wide leg trousers, which are kind of in that sort of jean material, but really I think they're a bit too wide for me. So I think I'm going to ask my tailor to take them in a little bit because I do have one black pair of uh, wide-ish leg trousers but they're not super wide and they were from Agnes B. I bought them a couple of years ago and actually I'm going to be wearing them tomorrow because we're going to a party. And they're just the right width if you know what I mean. So I wonder whether I can do that with these black sort of wide leg jeans. Just have them taken in a bit so that the leg isn't quite as wide as it is at the moment because it, at the moment I just feel swamped. I'm too short, I think, to wear swathes of material. They just don't look quite right. So if you are wanting to lean into a trend, then maybe that's the way to go, is just to pare down something that you might think looks a little bit too extreme on you and doesn't suit you. 
Oh, and there's just one more thing I want to mention, which I brought into my spring wardrobe, and it's this lovely bag. Now, I'd spotted a brand called Dragon Diffusion, who have a bag similar to this, and I was really wanting to get a bag that looked like this, but I didn't want to pay 400 quid. <laughs> Not that I'm a cheapskate or anything. And I was hunting around, and I belong to a few Facebook groups, like Sally Hughes's and Nadine Baggett's, and it was on one of those forums, I can't remember which one, that somebody was talking about this brand called... That's just typical, I can't remember the blooming name. I'll have it on the screen. <laughs> anyway, they mentioned this brand and I had a look and I went, oh my gosh, here is the bag that I've been looking for. It's not quite as big as the Dragon Diffusion. I'll put an image up of that bag, but it's similar. It's very, very similar. And it's got this lovely insert, which, which means you can tie your valuables up and they're not gonna fall out because this is a basket bag and it would be quite easy for things to fall out. But I absolutely love it. And it was about 80 pounds, I think. So as I say, the details of this and everything I talk about will be down below in the description box. I think this is a fantastic little brand. The brand is a bit similar to my other favourite female-founded small brand based in the UK called Expressive Cherry, whose sunglasses I wear all the time. Anyway, it's great to be able to support a small company. I think she's virtually a one-woman band, the owner, and she communicates with you. So she, when I ordered this, she emailed me and said, it might be a couple of weeks. Are you okay to wait? And I said, oh yeah, that's absolutely fine. So I really like that customer service from the brand. So definitely worth checking them out if, if you're looking for a reasonably priced bag. That is a really great spring summer item, I think. Oh, and by the way, they don't know I'm talking about them at all. You see, I can't even remember the name of the brand. <laughs> but I'll put it on the screen for you. So there you have it, wardrobe dilemma solved, I hope. What I've really tried to show you is my process, and this isn't going to suit everybody, I know, but I wanted to bring some colour in, but not too much colour so that things go with other things. And I think that's the key thing of having a workable capsule wardrobe. Now, like I said, I've got my fact sheet, which you can download by using the link in the description box if that's helpful to you because in there I talk about the sort of clothes that you might need for your lifestyle, because now my lifestyle is pretty casual. In fact, there's not even a massive amount of difference between what I wear to the office and what I wear to go out to the shops. I, I mean, there is a little bit, obviously. I wouldn't wear leggings to the office, but it's a lot more casual these days. So it might be worth looking at that to see if it will help guide you into having a more wearable capsule wardrobe or a, or a more wearable wardrobe which is what we're all striving to achieve. So let me know in the comments, how do you achieve a wearable wardrobe? Are you struggling like I am? I mean, you'd think I'd know now, I'm 69 and a half, you'd think I'd have got there by now, but no, it's a constant struggle. I suppose it's partly because our lifestyles are evolving and changing, but it's also, for those of us who are interested in fashion, we want to look modern, we don't want to look frumpy, we want to be comfortable, but we still want to be stylish. That, those are the most important things to people like us, I think. So let me know in the comments what you think. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you'd subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell. And if you can't get enough of me, I have a monthly newsletter. And in that, I don't just talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle, but I also talk about movies, TV, books, podcasts, and all the other bits and bobs that make our lives worthwhile. And thank you so much for watching. It means the absolute world to me. It really does. And I hope you're all doing really well. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye.